A lot of people can agree that the Android operating system is pretty awesome. Not only it is great to use, but it is also free as an open source. So that it can be modified by anyone and that is why custom ROMs exist. Now after Google released its newer version of Android, which is named as Android Nougat, I was really excited to try that out on my device. But after a long waiting, there is no official word from the manufacturer that when they are going to provide the update, which was really disappointing for me. Now I am a very impatient kind of person and can't wait that long, so I decided to install Android Nougat on my device manually and that's what I am going to show you guys in this video. By following this method, you can install Android Nougat on almost any Android device. Woohoo! That sounds really great, but folks, it's true. So if you guys are impatient as me, then do watch the video till the end and follow the instructions correctly. Now folks, with that being said, let's get straight into the video. In order to install Android Nougat on your Android devices, you will need two files. The first one is the ROMZIP file and the second one is gapps. The ROMZIP file will install the custom ROM and the gapps will provide the basic Google apps which are not pre-installed on most of the custom ROMs. Now the first thing which you have to do is to find the available Nougat ROM for your specific device which is really simple. And I guess most of you guys know where to look for. But in case if you are not able to find right custom ROM for your specific device or you are a little bit confused then let me show you how. Just go to Google and type the name of your device. Suppose you have a Moto G3 or maybe any other device. To find the right ROM just type Moto G3 and add XTA as a suffix. This will basically take you to the official ROM development page of XDA forum which has the largest collection of informations regarding any Android device. From there you can find and download custom ROM for your devices. You can also check the features and bugs of the ROM if it is mentioned by the developer. In my case I am searching Nougat ROM for my OnePlus 2 and here is the official build of Lineage OS 14.1. Once you find the correct ROM, just download it and put it in the internal memory of your device. After that, the next file which you will need is the gapps, which will basically install Google Apps on your device because as I told you earlier, Google Apps are not included in the ROMs of file in most of the custom ROMs. Now the next step is a bit tricky in which you have to unlock the bootloader and install TWRP recovery through which we will install Android Nougat because without unlocking the bootloader, you will not be able to install any custom ROM. Unfortunately, there is no universal method to unlock the bootloader. Suppose if you have a Chinese OEM device like OnePlus, Lenovo, Huawei, etc. Then the boot unlocking process is going to be quite simpler. But if you have a device from Samsung, LG or Google, then the unlocking procedure could be a little bit difficult. There are already lots of tutorials available on YouTube from which you can learn how to unlock the bootloader of your specific device and install TWRP recovery. So just go and check that out. After successfully unlocking the bootloader and installing the TWRP recovery, your 90% work is done. Now boot your device into TWRP recovery and for that, first you have to switch off your device. There are different key combinations for different devices to boot into recovery mode. The key combination for some popular devices like Samsung, Pixel, OnePlus, Xiaomi, HTC and for other devices, you can google the key combinations. Now as you can see, we have successfully booted into TWRP recovery and this is the basic layout of TWRP recovery. The first thing which I always recommend to do is to make a backup of your current ROM because in case you don't like the ROM or you want to go back to your stock ROM then just go to restore section and from there you can restore the previous ROM, it's as simple as that. So after making the backup, go back and click on wipe to wipe the system partitions and make your device ready for the ROM installation. Once it is done, again go back and click install and navigate the ROM zip file which we downloaded earlier. After that click on add more zip and select gapps package. Make sure to select the ROM zip file first then the gapps, otherwise you will not be able to install the ROM and you may also break your device. After selecting both the files in right order, swipe this blue button to right to flash the ROM. It will take approximately 5 to 10 minutes depending on your device. 
Once the installation is finished, reboot your device again. And the first boot will take more time than the normal boot, so just grab a cup of coffee and relax. Now after the first boot is finished, you have successfully upgraded your device to Nougat. Just complete the setup process and enjoy the new flavor of Android with some new features like multi-window, new notification bar and many more. So guys that's it for this video, hope you guys will like it and if you do then don't forget to hit that like button. And if you want to see more coming videos like this then do subscribe to my channel and I will see you guys in my next one.